Welcome to the Fundamentals Lesson Plan Series, Project Standards and Setup. In this video, we'll take a look at creating a title block from scratch using a template file. This is video five of seven. My name is John Herridge. I'll be your host today for this lesson. Let's take a look at the learning objectives for the video five lesson plan. First off, we'll access a title block template to begin the process of creating a title block from scratch. Then we'll add line work to that title block. Next, we'll add a raster image to the title block just to give it some flair. And next, we'll add some fixed text to the title block. And then last, we'll complete the process by adding text labels, which is basically a dynamic placeholder to host information to be displayed in the title block per the project information properties. With that, let's get started. Let's begin by choosing a Revit template file for title blocks. Go ahead and click on the Revit application menu. Select new, then title block. In the listing of available templates, go ahead and select size A and then click open. This will be your first entrance into creating Revit families and title blocks is a great way to customize your projects. Now you'll notice on screen that we're just presented with just the sheet boundary only and we're going to add some additional line work with this to create an inset and also a right hand margin. So to begin, let's go ahead and choose the line work tool from the create tab. And then we're going to create a minus one half inch offset. So go ahead and type that into the offset field. And then for the sketch tool in the draw panel, go ahead and click the rectangle tool. Place your cursor in the upper left hand corner and left click and then drag to the lower right hand corner and left click to accept the second point. And that's the line work for the inset border. The next steps are to start to articulate the margin line work. And so we'll re kind of repeat the process again. Let's go back to the create tab and pick up the line tool. This time we'll use a different technique. We'll use what's called the pick lines technique. Please set the offset value of two and a half inches in the option bar area. And then move your cursor into the canvas window and hover on that vertical line until that green preview line appears on the left side and then left click to actually place the line. Next we'll create some sectional lines in the lower right hand corner of the title block. Let's go ahead and set the offset value to zero. And then pick up the line tool. Hover at that intersection and drag your cursor to acquire the one half inch mark. Left click to start the line work there and then left click when you touch the right hand vertical line. Let's repeat the process again. This time we'll use a three inch offset. First point is three inches above left click and then go ahead and tag the right hand vertical line and let's go ahead and add one more. This time it will be one and a half inches above. Hover drag, acquire one and a half inches, left click for the first point, and then left click to end the line tool. Select the modify tool to end the line work command. Next we'll thicken up the line work of two of those horizontal lines that we drew earlier. Place your cursor just above the upper one and we're going to use what's called a crossing window selection set. Left click to place the first point and then drag a window such that it crosses both lines. Left click to complete that rectangle selection set. And then in the uh, subcategories pull down menu, let's go ahead and left click to choose wide lines. And then zoom in to see the 
display line weight uh, appear on screen. Let's save the progress of our file as this is a long exercise. Go to the Revit menu and choose Save. And let's give it the name Project Standards Exercise 5 Finished. Click Save to continue. Next up, we will add a company logo, which is really a raster image to the title block. Let's go ahead and right click and choose Zoom to Fit first. And then to insert a raster image, go ahead and click on the Insert tab. And then select the Image tool and browse to your uh, tutorial folder and choose company logo and then click open to proceed forward. Also notice that there are additional raster file formats that can be used. Place the uh, logo just above that line uh, shown on screen. And left click to place it. And then while the image is still highlighted, use the upper right drag handle to bring it back in and then left click to uh, complete that process. Next we will define new textiles to be used in the title block. On the Create tab in the text panel, go ahead and choose Text and then click on the Type Selector drop-down arrow and you'll notice that there is only one note type called Text Note 1. Let's go ahead and click on Edit Type and let's go ahead and rename this so we can refer to it Next time, go ahead and click on Rename. Let's go ahead and give it the name Quarter Inch. And then click OK to accept. Next, let's go ahead and make a duplicate of that. Now let's call this one One Quarter Inch Bold and choose OK. And to actually make that happen, we need to mark the box for bold under the text section. That completes style number two. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one to create a third style. Let's simply name this one 1 8 inch. Click OK. All we need to do here is modify the text size to eighth inch and then unmark the bold checkbox. That completes that one. Let's duplicate this one to create the fourth style. Let's go ahead and give it the name 1 16th inch. Click OK to proceed forward. This one, all we need to do is just change the text size to 1 16th inch. Click OK to accept. And if we click on the pull down list for the properties palette, you'll see that all those four styles now appear in the list that are now available for use. The text placement tool is still active. Go ahead and select one quarter inch bold from the type selector. Move your cursor over into the canvas window and left click to start the text box below the company logo and go ahead and type in my school as the name. Left click once in the canvas window to end that text entry. Let's go ahead and change the active text style. So back in the type selector, go ahead and select 1 8 inch. Left click to start a new text box below my school and let's enter the address of the school. For the address, for the first line, type in 11601 Georgia Avenue. 
to create a second line immediately below it, just hit the enter key on the keyboard. Enter Silver Springs, comma, North Carolina, or the abbreviations NC. Go ahead and left click in the Canvas window. And then choose the Modify tool to end the text placement command. Next, we will sketch three new lines above the lower horizontal line that we added earlier in the exercise. So on the Create tab, go ahead and click the Line Work tool. And let's just verify that the line type is set to Title Blocks. Next, we'll choose the Pick Line tool. And then in the offset field, go ahead and type in one half inch. Move your cursor into the canvas window. Hover on that horizontal line to get the green preview line to appear above and left click to place. Click one more time and click another time to complete the process. We should have four rectangles of the same size. Select Modify to end the command. Next, we will add text to those section areas that we just created. Click on the Create tab. Select the Text tool. In Properties Palette, Go ahead and choose 1 16th inch textile. Zoom in to the lower right hand corner of the title block. Left click to start your text box. Type in the value date colon. And left click in the canvas window to start a new text box in the next section below. Enter drawn by. Left click again in the canvas window, enter in checked by, and then the last uh, text box is to enter sheet number, and left click again in the canvas window. We're done with those entries. Go ahead and select the Modify tool to end the command. Again, let's uh, save our progress. Go to the Revit Application menu and click Save. Next, we will add labels to the title block, which are dynamic fields that take their information from the file properties. On the Create tab, go ahead and select the Label tool. And on the Format panel, go ahead and select Right and Bottom Alignment. And move your cursor into the uh, Canvas window and go ahead and left click to set the location of the first label. Next, we need to specify which information field we want to report at the new label location. So in that Category Parameters list, go ahead and choose Project Issue Date, and then left click to select Add Parameters. Go ahead and select the Sample Value field, and we'll type in a new value. Enter in 11 space December space 2014, and then click OK to accept. And you'll note that the text is too large even if we stretch the drag handle. So we'll go into the Properties palette to change that. Click on the Type Selector. And let's go ahead and change that to 8th inch. Click OK to accept. And that's much better. Next, we'll create three more labels that are similar. Go to the Create tab. 
left click to start the label tool hover in the canvas window to acquire the alignment snap left click to start the next label this time we'll look for the drawn by field in the left window select add parameters we'll accept the default value let's go ahead and click OK to continue repeat the process again acquire the alignment snap left click this time we're looking for the checked by field click add parameter we'll accept the default value for that one too click OK to continue and we have the last one go ahead and left click to start the label and this time we're looking for sheet number which is at the bottom of that left hand window go ahead and select it choose add parameter and we will accept the sample value also click OK to finish let's add one more parameter for sheet name go ahead and choose the modify tool select the label this time we'll change the format to center bottom go ahead and place your cursor above the date area left click in the middle of that area scroll down to the bottom in that left hand window to select the sheet name field click add parameters we'll accept the default value once again click OK to continue Go ahead and select the Modify tool to end the command. Right click in the Canvas window and choose Zoom to Fit. And let's go ahead and save the template file. So Revit menu button, Save As Template, and give it the name A space hyphen space landscape. Go ahead and click Save to continue. This concludes this exercise. Let's review the learning objectives for this lesson. First, we were able to access a title block template from the default library. And then we added line work to the title block. To give it a margin and then we added a raster image to give it identity and then we added fixed text labels that are permanent so they're not meant to be changed to the title block and then we concluded by adding text labels which is dynamic text placeholders that display the information that's being held in the project properties or by the view or object properties. With that, let's uh, take a look at next steps. I would like to make you aware of two specific Autodesk resources. The first one being the Autodesk Education Community, where you can access free software for both students and educators. And that can be located at www.students.autodesk.com. It does require a uh, registration, and you can use either your own personal email address or a school-issued email address. The second resource is the Autodesk Digital STEAM Workshop. It's hands-on, project-based learning across multiple industries such as architecture, engineering, gaming, and animation. And those resources are located at www.digitalsteam.autodesk.com. This concludes this exercise. Thank you very much for watching.